Okay, um, tell me a little bit about what you think about the fact that we've been, the protesters have been kind of sectioned off into this area over here. While I respect the need for safety in any space like this, I would simply ask first if anyone in the space has ever exuded an energy that suggested they were going to be violent in any way. Secondly, sometimes freedom and the opportunity to express yourself, as they say on the other side, ain't free. It ain't free. And part of the price that we have to pay is opening spaces up, allowing each of us to come together. Granted, I don't agree with much of what the folks over there have to say. However, if I was given the opportunity to actually discuss something with them, conceivably we would come to some kind of middle ground. But so long as our system perpetuates driving wedges between us under the guise of safety, um, we're going down extremely the wrong path. And what are you, um, what message are you hoping to send to voters and Tea Party supporters out here today? Um, first and foremost, something that I would think that the Tea Party would stand for. They have said they have stood for it, and that is everyone has a right to express themselves, and most importantly, express themselves in a space where they will be heard. Expressing yourself in the middle of the desert is just like the infamous, if a tree falls in the forest and nobody's there to hear it, does it make a noise? In this case, I would submit no. Luckily, we have uh, media outlets like yours that will actually uh, promote free speech, be it, uh, be it the conservative type or the progressive slash liberal type. I absolutely love your station for that reason. Uh, and if we don't have outlets like yours, we're done. We're done. But uh, first and foremost, I would say, what would I say to the Tea Party? Number one, show solidarity with us in establishing there's no such thing as a free speech zone. I would fight for their right to say there is no such thing as a free speech zone, and I would hope that we would have solidarity. And once we don't have free speech zones, then maybe we come together and we start discussing some of our differences and some of our commonalities. And I think that in many cases, especially the Ron Paul types, uh, many cases we can find some common ground here. So that's what we're all about here. We're first and foremost trying to establish some common ground with other folks who historically have been identified as not anywhere close to our side, as it were. We want to build a bridge, but then secondly, we want to reinforce that some of the economic policies that are going to be established in that room tonight, we have absolutely no faith in. Trickle-down economics does not work. We need jobs. We need jobs now, and none of the candidates in that room are talking about that, and that's the other message that we want to get across here. Thank you, Mike.